Prohibition is the rule of the land. All across America, users of the illicit concoction are rounded up, and its makers find no security from the heavy hand of Johnny Lawman. See how his justice is swift on the perpetrators. Yes, its use has not abated. Far from it. Since the beginning of Prohibition, use has increased dramatically. Over 60% of America admits to its use, and in City Hall, bureaucrats struggle to fill newfound tax shortages. Shortages the banned substances might have filled. Willing distributors and store owners cringe as their profits and our tax dollars go underground. Users seek out the underground, where the practice and revelry continue unabated. Produced in unsavory conditions in country basements and dark woods, the potent stuff goes unregulated. Meanwhile, in our inner cities, gangsterism is run rampant. Murder, theft, criminality push out commerce. Organized crime flourishes in prohibition. Many are rounded up in arrests, clogging up the system to its breaking point, while dollars from the underground fuel a now international trade. On land from Mexico and Canada, on the sea, in the air, gangs slip their goods by overtasked border guards. The new patrols further bankrupting already strained coffers. The popularity of prohibition has plummeted. A recent Gallup poll comes forward and publishes the results. 44% of Americans support ending prohibition. Even in the United States Congress, the criticisms of prohibition rage. Prohibition cannot be enforced. That being so, it is the duty of Congress to do the constructive th thing and repeal the law. Yes, prohibition of marijuana has caused an unfortunate blight on our society. In Washington, some campaign against the unjust laws that legislate morality. Join their cause at MPP.org.